Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to learn how uh, matrix filters work and uh, we're going to learn that using a project that's in Manifold so we're also going to learn some uh, useful techniques for uh, manipulating uh, data and uh, uh, other, other stuff uh, within Manifold itself. We're using Manifold Viewer which is, uh, you can see right up here, Manifold Viewer and uh, Manifold Viewer is the free read-only version of Manifold System Release 9. You can download it. It has virtually all capabilities that are in 9. It's just uh, uh, read only. So it's uh, free to download. You don't have to register. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't time out. Uh, there's no advertising whatsoever. There's no promotions, no upsell. Uh, and uh, just use it for free for however long you like. Anyway, what we're looking at here is uh, two um, illustrations which, uh, which are also obviously also done in Manifold Project with all these layers. And they show how a convolution matrix filter works. So what's the matrix filter? Let's suppose you have a source image here and we're representing a raster image. All the cells here are individual pixels. And uh, all the cells can have a value in them, from, say, let's, let's say in this case, an example is just, it's either a value of 1 or a value of 0. And uh, these could be colors, they could be uh, heights. We've colored these so that uh, the cells that have a, pixels that have a value of 1 in them are slightly darker, so you can see where the dividing line is more easily. And the idea is to apply this matrix of numbers, this 3 by 3 matrix of numbers, uh, and to do a computation and then have the result appear on here on the right. Now, matrix filters can be any size that you like. They can be uh, 3 by 3, 5 by 5, 7 by 7. Since we're going to do the computations here manually, I've made it a 3 by 3 filter. And what this filter does, believe it or not, this grouping of numbers here, detects edges in this, in this image right here. And it converts this image right here into an image here where there's dark and light pixels that show where the edges are. Now, that's pretty amazing, and, and we're going to see how this works. Uh, I'm going to take this filter, and I'm going to turn it on here. And this is a partially transparent version of the same filter, which also has a red box here and also has a red box there. That red box on both sides is part of the same layer. So if we move this box here on the left-hand side, this one here is going to move to the right as well. And I'm going to turn on the uh, labels that show the values in this filter. The way a con uh, convolution matrix filter works, despite the big name, is extraordinarily simple. It simply takes the n to, to compute the value of the center cell that it should put here, it starts by in this upper left edge and it multiplies the filter number times the number for the pixel, adds that to the multiplication of the filter number plus the pixel in the next pixel, and so on until it multiplies for, for each of these cells the filter value times whatever is in the source image, adds them all together and it puts the resulting number here. Let's try that to see how it works. 0 times 0 is 0. Okay, so add 0 to minus 1 times 0. That's still 0. Add that to 0 times 0, which is still 0. Add that to minus 1 times 0. That's still 0. Add that to minus, excuse me, add that to plus 4 times 0, which is still 0. And here you can see that the result of the doing this multiplication, adding all these together, is going to be 0 because there's always a 0 in one of these, either in the filter or in the corresponding uh, image pixel. So in here, we're going to put the result pixel. We're going to put the number, and I'm going to click on that to make it the active layer. Control Alt to select that. I'm going to put a number in there for the height. We're going to call these things heights. There we go. And I formatted this so that the result has a nice big uh, font using a color blue. So that's the result that we get when we apply this computation ma matrix to uh, this particular pixel right there, that's a zero. Let's move this filter s to the right one step. To do that, I'm going to switch here to the transform panel, and I'm going to use the shift command to find it in this enormous list of uh, transforms that Manful has. I'll type sh to reduce the list to just that. Click on shift, and now here I'll put shift x1. These cells are one meter apart. That's the way that this thing is con composed. So I'm happy with the preview. It's going to move everything one step to the right. Click update field. And now we see the convolution matrix filter here, one step to the right. So what are we going to do now? We're going to take 0 times 0, 0, minus 1 times 0, 0. This is all 0. This is all 0. Until we get to this pixel here, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, plus 0, plus minus 1 again makes minus 2, plus 0. So the value for this cell here that we're going to do when, you, when we multiply these numbers out and we add them all together, this is going to be minus 2. So I'll choose that. Here I'm going to put minus 2, update it, and there we go. Uh, obviously, when Manifold computa com computes computation, fil uh, uses convolution filters and various expressions, it does this all for you automatically. We're just doing this here manually 
to see how this stuff works. Let's move the filter one step to the right again and see what happens. Back to transform. The shift is still remembered. Let's move it one step to the right in the X direction. Click update field. Okay, now what do we got going? Let's, let's do the computation here. This is zero, that's zero, that's zero, that's zero. Aha, that's a value of four because four times one is four. This is minus two. So four plus minus two uh, is a uh, two. Right, excuse me, th excuse me, this is minus one. Four plus minus one, <laughs> got that, is three plus zero plus minus one again is now two and zero. So if we do this multiplication and add all this up, the result is two. So that's the value of two. Let's put that in there. Click update record. Uh, let's do one more. Let's move this, let's shift this one more to the right to see what happens. Back here again in the transform panel, click shift, one. Update field. And now let's do the computation. Now if we do the computation, what we see is, uh, for what goes into this cell, is we start with zero, minus one, plus zero is still minus one. Minus one plus minus one is minus two. Minus two plus four is two. Minus two plus minus one is one. Uh, zero. Um, minus one plus minus one is zero, and this is still zero. So the, the result of all these computations is zero. Basically, if you look at these three cells, these are minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. That comes to minus four. Minus four plus four is zero. So here, in the result pixels, we want to uh, put a zero. Uh, if you do the calculation on all these, you'll see that this pattern obviously repeats, so that this is going to be 0, minus 2, 2, 0. These are all going to be zeros. Everything up here is going to be zeros. And everything down here is going to be zeros. So if we um, if we calculate all this out, we can, uh, uh, we can uh, well, let's just, let's do one more. Let's say put the, put the uh, matrix right here and see what that does. And here's the filter. Let's do the shift. Transform. And now uh, let's go minus 1, put it down there, and then uh, minus 3, that puts it there. And let's do it minus 2. Click update field. And you can see the result here. This is going to be, these two are minus 2. That's a 4. So, excuse me. This is minus one, minus two. This is excuse me. This, this is going to be a two, and let's. This is going to be a two here because this is minus one, minus one. That's minus two. Minus two plus four is minus is plus two. So let's put a two in there. And now let's move the matrix uh, one more step to the left again. do this one here. There. All right, let's ca let's calculate this. Uh, 4 times 0 is 0. Minus 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. This is minus 1 as well, so we get minus 2 plus 0 is minus 2. And that, that gives us the pattern that you see more clearly. Uh, everything here is going to be zeros. Everything here on this line is going to be minus twos. Everything on this line is going to be minus two. So how would we fill that out if we wanted to fill that out? Here's an easy way of uh, doing this simply. We can uh, control click that, 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 that. Apologies for the, uh, turn that one off. Let's select all these pixels here with a control click. And uh, then what we can do is we can go into the uh, table here, in, into the result pixels table. I'll have to find it here in this uh, messy project. There it is. And here what I can do is just right click on the two and choose copy to selection. And now what you'll see is, is uh, that number is copied throughout to all those. Edit, select none. 
let's do the same thing for these guys. I'm gonna control click there, control click there, control click there. And uh, now here in the results table, let's find see where those are selected. I can copy the minus two to the selection, and now now that's everywhere, and you can see that's been copied throughout. Uh, let's put zeros in all the other spots. Uh, what we can do is we can uh, control I'm drawing a, a box here for a selection box. And now what I can do is uh, edit select inverse go back here to the results table copy to selection and I've just put zeros in all the other s spots as well. I kind of cheated putting uh, numbers here on the edge. So you can see the resulting pattern that arises. And if we just compute based on these pixels here, uh, what's light and what's dark, we can uh, get a result that looks kind of like this. And I'll put the uh, some labels on top of that. So you can see how that worked. Basically, all the dark pixels are, I've colored dark dark gray with the number of two, all the light pixels I've, that are, all the, all the minus two values I've col colored white, and I left all the rest of kind of a middle gray. So the result is what used to be a kind of a light and dark source image here has been transformed into result where there's a kind of light gray pixels all the rest, and there's a line of very dark pixels highlighted by a line of super white pixels. These are the plus twos and these are the minus twos. And what we've done is we've drawn a line across this uh, results matrix uh, which uh, shows where the edge is and in fact that's where the edge actually was you know between these two zones in the first zone where there's all these heights of one or colors of one and here the zone was heights of zero or color of zeros now it's kind of amazing that such a simple calculation as just simply multiplying these two numbers and adding together the result and putting the result into the middle pick into putting the result into the middle cell could create uh, such a uh, analytic result I mean these look like pretty simple numbers, but nonetheless, applying this filter in a repetitive way across the entire matrix does indeed find the edge, and it does indeed draw a line for you where the edge was. Uh, and the surprising thing is that these convolution matrix filters, uh, by putting different numbers here and using slightly larger filters or whatever with different numbers, uh, you can do virtually all the effects that you see in something like, say, Photoshop. For example, you could do an emboss effect. Uh, you can find uh, uh, where edges change only in a certain direction, like for example in a 45 degree direction, or only where edges change where they're horizontal. So if this was say all dark on the bottom half and all light on the other half, it would only find the edge that goes across, but it wouldn't find any edges that go diagonally like this. And all those incredible effects, sharpening, unsharpening, and stuff like that, blurs, Gaussian blurs, you can do all that just by choosing the right numbers here in the filters. So whenever you see a, uh, a matrix filter in something like Manifold, for example, uh, uh, if there's a, an image, and uh, I don't happen to have any images here, but if there were, uh, you could see in the transform panel that incredible list of things like uh, uh, blur and, uh, and, and all these other filters, sharpen and so forth. Those are just simple f filters like this with the right kind of numbers. And that's why, if you want, you can create your own uh, filters to do various techniques, to do various uh, analytics, and to do various changes in raster images, heights, and so forth just by creating a filter with the right numbers in them. Manifold provides that capability to you. There are examples uh, that are in the user manual, and uh, we'll be doing some videos of them as well, and, and in discussions in the, man in the Manifold user forum that show you how to create your own filters and how you can apply them to rasters. So, for example, uh, if uh, you want a particular type of unsharp, uh, so-called sharpening technique that uh, Manifold does not yet support, well, you can just, uh, in a matter of minutes, create your own and apply it. And uh, that's really cool. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, uh, video. I hope it's uh, helped you to see not only how uh, convolution matrix filters are applied, but also how you can use techniques such as uh, uh, transform with the shift to uh, move things like this around and to uh, manipulate objects within Manifold. Uh, that sort of thing is uh, a really cool thing. And... Uh, 
how to uh, use things like selections to automatically fill in copies of uh, uh, for objects. Uh, if you're not doing illustrations for uh, a video, what you can do is you can use it for things like uh, parcel mapping or other practical GIS projects where you've got to apply values you know, to many different uh, vector objects at the same time and so forth. And, and also to see how you can interact between uh, a table and uh, the uh, layer for that table that's a vector layer. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, goodbye from uh, Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.